worldwide event, you know, where the entire mankind basically has to relate to Oscar because this is apparently that we can do mm -hmm. in 21st century bioengineering. Well, it's still very far, of course, of a completely independent life. So, is it desirable to have these new modular bodies? What I think is good about Oscar that he helps us demystifying what life is. Oscar challenges the divide between the natural and the uh, artificial. In 2016, a team of skilled biologists claimed to have succeeded in the creation of the world's first ever living organism, Oscar. This prototype, the size of a human hand, is composed of clickable organ modules grown from human cells. What's going to happen is that I'm going to connect the brain to the heart module to activate the blood circulation. Now, the lung is going to start breathing. You can see both organs are now collaborating. I can add a kidney module. And if I add a limb module, it starts actuating the organism to move. Now it's looking for the optimum temperature, which is 37 degrees. If I add another limb, Oscar will recognize it and benefit from new possibilities. The human body is a biological device, an outdated device. If diseased, there's usually one organ spreading the problem. The rest is working fine, but gets needlessly affected. Every day, millions of people suffer from dysfunctioning body parts because they get infected or decayed, simply because the human body is a closed system, not evolved to last. Already, quite some institutes are printing organs with human cells, they all focus on creating identical copies to use as spare parts. We want to use this opportunity not to maintain, but to redefine mankind. So this is a new kind of body, an open system printed with human cells in our own independent lab, a pocket-sized living prototype made with detachable modules. They're all connected to the brain. Bloodstream and nerve signals are transferred throughout the connectors, and simple junctions keep everything linked. If an organ gets ill, you can easily replace it with a new one. Or for example, if your body needs an extra arm, you can just upgrade the body with an extra limb module. Another great thing about this is, the modular body will become alterable and adaptable to all kinds of situations. We call it Oscar. The modular system is made of independent modules similar to the building blocks, resulting in a highly transformable and flexible configuration. To be honest, the first time I laid eyes on this, I was so shocked, and I paused the YouTube video and stared in disbelief at my computer screen. The more videos I watched, the more shocked and amazed I became. And by researching further, I discovered the truth. This project was the storyline of the modular body, an online science fiction about making Oscar, a being that's alive and constructed from human cells. The results of this work is stunningly brought to life through the use of highly tech computer-generated images. The amazing thing is about this CGI technology is that it was used back in 2016. Despite being several years old, the results are still stunning and showcase the impressive advancements 
in computer graphics technology. This is just amazing. They have even created a fictional device called Oscar's Brain, which is considered to be the foundation on which the body modules are mounted. This added layer of science fiction only serves to enhance the captivating nature of the modular body and its use of cutting-edge technology. The modular body uses an ENS, electronic nervous system, which we also call the master system. It controls every single function within the organism. Each organ has a handcrafted, tailor-made membrane with electronic connections that can give pulses at the right moments. It all starts within the brain, where processes are divided in single tasks, which are delivered at the right module at the right moment. In this way, Oscar can circulate blood, breathe, move, navigate and feel. Consider the fact that this captivating story was created back in 2016, it is exciting to imagine what would be possible with the advanced technology available now. The rapid advancements in the field of computer graphics and related technologies have only continued in the years since the modular body was created, so it is likely that even more stunning and innovative creations are on the horizon. In this clip, you will see behind the scenes of the modular body, which will give you a little bit of an insight of how it is made. This man just put together miniature pieces of an organic body based off of a human system that came to life when connected. The modular body is a plug and play, build your own organism. Body parts are created using Blastman's own genes, but made by using a bioprinter. It's not a, a psychological story about the reasons why a person wants to make life. It's a story about the deeper background of why are scientists working on this kind of technologies and what do they want to achieve with that. I mean, it's a science fiction story, it's not true yet, but the interesting of the whole project is that it sort of touches the reality. Oscar is a modular prototype built up with human cells and created in an independent lab in the Netherlands. At least that's the story of the modular body. We are looking at Oscar, the first human modular prototype that is able to live in various setups. Now what's going to happen is that I'm going to connect the brain to the heart module to activate the blood circulation. And I thought, what if we can print organs? Would we print them in the same way as if we already have them in the body? Or would we use this opportunity to design a complete new human body. For example, what if you have a, a heart and a lung and some limbs and you can connect them in all sorts of different ways and if there's a malfunction in the heart, it would be very easy to replace it by just clicking in another module. Besides, this would create a, an immortal system. It would also create a completely new idea of the body. And these two elements were the main fascinations for the modular body project. I can add a kidney module. And if I add a limb module, it starts actuating the organism to move. Now it's looking for the optimal temperature, which is 37 degrees. With all the design choices I made within Oscar, I thought there should be multiple connectors in which all the modules can be connected to. But it's also, it should also look like it's real. And uh, that's why I decided to make the skin transparent. If you would create a skin in a laboratory, it would not be like the skin we have. It, in the first phase, it would be very transparent, and maybe later on it would evolve into a more solid uh, tissue piece.
I think you can tell a story like this in a linear way, but it was much more interesting to create a database with all sorts of video fragments which tell something about how Oscar was made and what the process was of thinking and creating Oscar, which is more a way of telling science facts instead of science fiction. So the modular body is designed uh, not as a very classic transmedia story. The modular body is mainly a beautiful designed uh, interactive web page where you can go through the back story of Cornelis Plasman and the creation of Oscar. It's interesting to see if the story is fragmented, what it will do uh, on these different web channels. So YouTube, we did Facebook, we do Vine, uh, Twitter. Normally I try to, to avoid making websites and so our usual work is also more physical, more installations and uh, with the modular body it, it felt like we make an installation in, in the web. The idea of this story path came actually pretty early in the, in the process because it was clear that we have these uh, fragmented videos. Uh, the narrative is different for everybody who who visits the website and um, we wanted to make this clear also to to the user and like to give kind of an overview what did you see already how did you see it and also what is your narrative what is your personal narrative because it's different for for everybody <laughs> And we will be punished. In all these narratives, the punishment is there. But what I think is good about Oscar, that he helps us demystifying what life is. Uh, maybe he can make us more modest, so we stop thinking about being God, but just being human beings, playing around with cells. Yeah. All the scientists who were in the talk show react as if Oscar was real, as if the whole project was a real thing. Which was for them not so difficult, because they could relate to it. They, they thought, well, this is not possible, but it could be possible. And that's, I think, why the public who sees Oscar online, you see it on the Facebook pages, you see it in groups, a lot of people react as if Oscar is real. It's probably one of the creepiest things I've seen in a while. It's fucking creepy and scary. Why are you building a human for? We as humans, we all already can procreate with each other and stuff. He even claims he used his own cells to create Oscar to avoid legal issues. The modularbody.com has about 600,000 views by now. Besides the numbers, we're not very interested in numbers. It's more about the conversations and the questions people ask ourselves. Uh, so we're still counting how how many conversations are going. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind. So I'll see you again in a new video with a new idea. Goodbye.